All right. I'm zooming again. I'm looking for Nikel Peters. Are you out there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm here. Live right. Live, live, uh... You know, but it's neat. I mean, for me, this goes back, I think, when did we meet? Like 2016. And now, was that your senior yeah, year? We, we met before that. We met my junior year. That was 2014, 2015. Yeah, right. Okay. Yes. So we've known each other a long time. And it's just right. for me, when I met you, I could tell, obviously, you could play. But I could tell you had a personality. You know, it, to me, it's just fun. Uh, you have some news. Uh, tell people what's going on. Um, well, for one thing, I just graduated from Cal Poly Pomona um, over in March. And then re yesterday, I just signed my first uh, overseas contract to go play in Dubai. No, so that's two dreams. Maybe talk about I, that must have been the dream at, at Dallas South. Get college paid for and become a professional basketball player. Two check marks, correct? Yeah, even from a young age, um, even when I was a kid, I always told my dad, like, don't worry, like, you'll never have to pay for college. Like, the goal is to always go for free. And it's like, you know, a lot of bumps in the road. Like, there's been times where I wanted to quit. I wanted to stop playing in high school especially. And then um, once I got my scholarship offers coming in, it started to click a little bit. So then signed my deal at Cal Poly. Even when I got to Cal Poly, I wanted to quit after my sophomore year. I was, I was through with basketball, but, you know, my people in my, in my close circle told me to stick with it, and now I'm a pro. There you go. Maybe that's it, the perseverance. Uh, so it was the people around you both times that told you to keep going. I mean, it, it was, was a playing time or you just weren't happy uh, at De La Salle and then at Cal Poly? Or, uh, go ahead. Um, at De La Salle, it was uh, a lot of things in co were incorporated with why I wanted to stop playing. Um, at, for one, I just wasn't enjoying basketball. Um, I guess I just wasn't used to a system, essentially, until my senior year when we kind of had a freelance offense and, and we got to play a little bit. College was more playing time because my freshman year I started and my sophomore year I was hurt and I didn't play a lot. And so, and even, like, we're playing against, like, teams like Monterey Bay and I'm, like, I'm only getting, like, five minutes this game. Like, something ain't right. So I wanted to actually transfer at first. So I, I called my mom after we lost in the NCAA tournament. Like, mom, I want to leave, like, go to a different school. Like, coaches are texting me here and there. And she was like, nah, stick with it, stick with it. Like, you'll be okay, you'll be okay. That summer, I wanted to quit again. And I was like, I'm through with basketball. Like, I just want to go to school, get my degree, and work with my dad, make money, just live a regular life. Um, but, you know, a, a lot of my friends out there in L.A., you know, you know, I'm really close with them. And so they were telling me just, you know, stick to it, stick to it. So then – uh, junior year went by, and then I broke my foot at the end of that year. If you guys remember, I had surgery uh, that summer before my senior year of college. And then after that, played my senior year, and now I'm here. Right. Well, I think it's a good example because there's nothing wrong with, like, having a regular job. But right. you're getting – but know. you have now the opportunity to get – paid. can you figure that out? You're playing in your driveway. Now you're going to get a paycheck to play basketball. And how did Dubai come up? I mean, that's halfway around the world. So last summer after my junior year, I was, when I got hurt, I actually got a job. So I was working with my father and while I'm working, I'm at work and I get an Instagram DM from a guy that's like a, um, he works for the Istanbul sports association. And he was like, yo, like I have a team that wants to sign you right now. You know, it was a good chunk of change too. Um, so I'm like, yo dad, like I can go play professional basketball right now and start making money. Like I'll make more money there than what I'm doing right now. And he was like, nah, I want you to finish school, finish school, get your degree. So I texted the dude back and I said, yo, hit me back in March next year after my senior year. So March comes along, our season gets canceled. Boom, I get a DM on the bus right home. And it's not the same guy because, you know, rest in peace to him. He passed away in that time span. But I guess his friend had my contact info. So he ends up messaging me and was like, yo, I'm Rob's friend. This, this and that. He passed away. Um, but, you know, the team is so interested in you. You know, we'd like to send you a contract and get the, the whole process going. But I didn't have an agent at the time. So, to me, I'm like, I don't know what to tell this guy. I don't know what to say. I don't know what the contract says. So, I said, give me like a month. Let me get my life together. And then I'll, I'll let you know. Month goes along. I sign with an agent. Um, and then after that, I kind of didn't talk to them because I wanted to see what my agent kind of had with uh, connection-wise, you know, maybe in Europe. Um, but nothing came about from him. So I hit this dude back and I was like, yo, you know, I'm still looking for a place to play. Is it possible if they could, you know, want to offer me a contract? He's like, okay, let me call you back in like 10 minutes. I'll call the GM 
calls the GM, the GM emails me a contract. And then from there, it was history. Right. Well, so it's a very interesting process. And the initial, how did they initially find you last year was on uh, through, I, go ahead. I think it might have been uh, my YouTube highlights because I did, I randomly made a YouTube highlight of my <laughs> junior year and threw, it on, and threw it on YouTube for fun. Right. Um, and right after that is when he had hit me in the summertime. Right. Um, and then when I, when I hit them again in March or like in April, May, he had asked for a new highlight and new, a new tape. So I know you see my Instagram, I have open run tape. Right. With the pros that we play around out here. And so I sent him all that stuff, sent him my new highlight tape for my senior year. And then they were like, yeah, we'll take you. Right. So a highlight tape and Instagram got you a job. Yeah. 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 And then it's interesting, you know, it's good to have an agent, but you actually make you, he didn't find you any new teams. It's, it's, I, I did the whole thing myself. Yeah. Right. And then how does, what, I mean, don't give me all the specific, I mean, a what, uh, uh, you, you have a contract, uh, and then how does it work? Uh, what's the name of the team? And uh, tell me about the league. What do you know? So the team is in what's called the UAE, so the United, uh, United, Arab Emirates League. It's a, it's the only league in in Dubai. Um, it's a, so it's a super league, it's a top league. Um, my team is called Al Wasal. They're like, maybe like they were in fifth place um, last last season. Uh, but the way the league is structured, like obviously you play league games, but my friend uh, who I played over there was telling me they play in a lot of like Asia Cup tournaments. Um, and then obviously in those tournaments you get bonuses for winning games and and, and winning the winning the tournament. So along with my league games, I'll also be playing in tournaments in different countries um, against other countries as well. Um, but the team isn't bad. Um, when I talked to the head coach, they said they were trying to – they were still looking for another import. So I might uh, – I'm a, I, once I get my contract back signed and everything from the GM, he just emailed me this morning, um, I'm going to try to put one of my friends on with the team as well. Um, he's actually here with me right now. Um, I'm trying to see if I can either get him on the team and see what they say, because they were also looking at a Serbian guy. He's a big man from Serbia. So those were some of the options they were telling me about. Um, but yeah, the team was nine and nine. Uh, the two teams, the two top teams were 17 and one, both of them. So they're pretty right. good. And both of those teams have a lot of money. So they, they can sign, you know, bigger guys that they can pay. So, um, but yeah, that's just the gist of it. Um, the, my team is in actually in the city, uh, in the, in Dubai itself. Right. Um, and then my all the all the teams in this league also have soccer teams, so, but soccer is really their main sport. That's where right. the money comes from. And then basketball is kind of just on the side, essentially. But um, you know, it's it, they still make a lot of money though for basketball. That's great. No, it's like it's like a club like like it's in Europe. There's uh, uh, people know FC Barcelona soccer, yeah. but there's FC yeah. Barcelona basketball, Real Madrid both, and it's the same. I don't know what you call, it, but. The, they, the, the owner owns both, you know, and, and then you're part of, yeah. And that, that's neat. And then, so have you seen uh, the photos of Dubai? I mean, you're going to like to the, the mod, go ahead. I mean, you're going you're gonna to fit in well there. I mean, actually speaking of going to Dubai, this summer before coronavirus hit, we were supposed to go visit Dubai as a family just to go right. visit for vacation. And I had hit the, the, the dude and I said, yo, can I come work out with the team? Like while I'm out there, but I just wanted to work out. I wasn't really thinking anything of it. Um, so we had already been like planning, you know, we were going to go exotic car racing and you know, go look at skyscrapers and go to the water park and the whole nine, go see the mall. Um, my friend was telling me they got what, how many malls do they have? They got three malls right. that are like wave that are, you can't, you can't go look at every store in one day is what he said. That's how big the mall is. Yep. They got a amusement park in there, an actual waterfall. And like, it's, it's crazy. Nikel, do you think this might be a conspiracy to get you over there so you spend your whole contract in that mall? You got to be careful. I know everybody's been telling me to, you know, watch out for my money, make sure I right. don't spend it all. Maybe this could be some sort of international espionage movie where they get you over there, you spend all your money, and you can't get back or something. But no, uh, no. In my contract, they said they give me two round trip tickets, so oh, they got to pay for the oh, oh, get back. You know, then you're covered. I mean, so even if you do go crazy, you can come back broke. But uh, no, you don't, you won't. Right. <laughs> And you see your friend, have your friend poke his head in here. Maybe we can get. Uh... Uh, yeah, how you doing? Uh, uh, what's Donovan. your name? How do you know Nikel? Uh, we played against each other. Um, our colleges, you know, uh, our universities played against right. each other. And uh, we've just been cool ever since, honestly. Right. And what's your name and where did you play? 
um, Donovan Taylor, I played at uh, SF State. Sure. Um, at Cal Poly Pomona. So we were in the same conference. Right. Uh, having to go to my hometown to play basketball. I came to it it was weird, you know. Right. So you you were you're you were, you were a gator. Yeah. <laughs> okay, very cool. No, they're, they're, and so now uh Nikhil's like a street agent. He's trying to get you to Dubai. Oh yeah. Uh so basically uh we you know if we could we could go to the same spot that would be dope. But um previously I was I was in Spain. And okay. Then, uh, I fractured my foot within the first week there and then uh I was going to stay longer, but then that whole coronavirus and stuff took place. I came home before then. Cool. Give me a, give me a question to ask Nikel that, that only you know. Ask him a question here. Hmm. He, he's nervous. A question. A good one. Gotta... Make, sure, make sure it's somewhat – it has to be clean. <laughs> okay. So um, what is his uh, – what would he tell, like, kind of, kind of being, um, I guess you could say, a hometown hero? Because I'm pretty sure not many people make it out from uh, Concord, you know, to be a professional um, and something that they're pursuing from a childhood. What would be his uh, his give back, his insight to give, you know, people that are up and coming in that same sense? That's a great question. Thank you. Go ahead. Um, I think the the main thing i always tell people and what i've always been told especially from my parents and my friends you know and because he's older than me so he he has some more knowledge than i do um but i always just tell people stick to the grind and as you can see i explained earlier like i want to stop playing but you know when you keep grinding you keep grinding and the results come in like just a couple of weeks ago i told my my trainer because my agent wasn't doing anything i wanted to stop playing because he wasn't he was kind of discouraging me you know what i'm saying it was it was like it was like a oh every time I call him there's nothing for you nothing for you nothing for you right now, and so I told him I was like screw it like I'm done like I'll just hang up the shoes I'm over with it like I'll just live my life, but he just told me keep stick to the grind and that's what I tell everybody else you know just keep working hard because hard work you know they those those produce results you know go look at any NBA player go watch the Kevin Durant documentary the LeBron documentary go watch anything about Kobe Michael Jordan the Last Dance. All they did was work hard, and you know you get the results you want. So that's it. And stick to it. So th there was a third time you wanted to quit. So uh, yeah, recently, recently. I, I think I better stay in touch with you. Somebody's going to have to call you in Dubai and say, "Don't quit." Yeah, Maybe. I know. <laughs> no, no I, it's be different. I'm, get, I'm getting paid quite a bit of money to go do that. So yeah, okay, I'll, that's right. It, 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 it's right. It's still different. You'd have to give the money back. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So no, it's, it's just neat. And for me, it makes me feel good. You know, I see it, I hit you up and I, I'm a boring middle-aged guy and you want to, want to talk to me. I mean, that makes me feel good. Nah, you know, you're not boring. You know, you've been rocking with De La Salle for a long time now. You know, De La Salle's one big happy family, regardless if it's football, baseball, lacrosse, water polo, whatever it is. You know, I still talk to all my guys from De La Salle that I play with, my class, all that, even above uh, old guys older than me in the, NBA, uh, in the NFL, all that. So, you know, if you, once, you, once you went to the De La Salle family, you're there forever. Yeah, no, that's what it is. We're, we're, this, this is ongoing. I'll keep touch in Dubai. Because how, how many hours? I looked it up. It's, what, 11 hours? Yeah, you got I'll be ahead 11. Yeah. Exactly. So we'll figure that out. And you speaking of also guys you played with, I was talking with um, uh, Devin Asiasi's dad. You, you mm -hmm. play – I mean, people know – he, he, uh, Devin could play basketball, and you played with him since you were little, correct? Yeah, so when we were younger, we played with each other. We didn't even know, honestly, when we were younger. But when we got to high school, my first two years, he was with me on the team. And we were one we were one nasty duo. Actually, trio, if you add Jordan in there, too. Right. Um, and then, uh, but, yeah, you know, he made his decision. And, obviously, his decision worked in his favor. Correct. But making, making, making I good can money see him too. grabbing rebounds. C could he shoot a little bit from the outside? Or is he more... If you want, you can go on YouTube and look up the highlights. There's highlights of me and him on YouTube together from right. uh, Get Sports Focus and uh, on uh, Cal High Sports. You know what I'm saying? Devin shooting some jump shots, getting some rebounds, dunking the basketball the whole nine. Right, exactly. No, because that's the thing. As a tight end, you're athletic, and so uh, yeah, uh, in the stuff. Yeah, very cool. I'm trying to think what else. And was Jordan part of that? As as what, how old were you? Because were you guys playing in the summer together? Yes. So actually. I was the last one to come on the varsity that right. summer, summer coming into my freshman year of high school. Right. Um, they already had Devin because he was playing football, and then they had Jordan already on varsity working out. Right. And then I don't know what happened. Oh, one day I was supposed to leave JV practice, 
And um, Coach Alaco stopped me. And he was like, yo, do you want to work out with us? I'm like, uh, I'm on JV. Like, I don't know if I'm ready. To, I'm, and I'm 13 years old, so I'm not wow. even. I'm, just, I'm still young. Actually, yeah, I'm 13. And so I'm like, yeah, I'm about to go play with these 18, 19 year olds. Like, uh, I don't know. And so I stayed. And then ever since then, I was on varsity. And then when season came around, they had me try with varsity, and I made the team. Right. No, that's cool. But no, he was talking. About, did you play as like as youngsters on teams, or did or did you guys meet at Dallas Up? I actually played more with Jordan than I did with Devin. Um, right. I think okay. I did with Devin, but me and Jordan played on Division One All Stars together. Right. Um, and then we played against each other uh, quite a bit of times because. I only played with Division One All Stars a little bit. I was actually I played for the Oakland Soldiers. Sure, um, that was my team. So I played against them a lot when I was younger. Um, but we had we had been friends since I want what I could say maybe like fourth or fifth grade. Wow, that's very yeah. cool. Because the o Oakland Soldiers that's a, a legendary organization. Right, right, right. Yep. But, so oh, my people. Right, and so I'm trying to think maybe. Is there anything you, you you like to add? I mean, I'm just I'm just so proud of you. I mean, oh, I, mean, I should ask. Uh, when, when does this all start? When, when, when does the league start? Uh, my contract duration is from September 24th to April 9th, so I'm probably going to leave on the 23rd. Um, and then I'll be back probably April 10th or something like that. Right. And then uh, where I'm trying to – you talked about six weeks away, right? Are you going to stay, just stay in shape and work out? What are you doing for the next six weeks? So, yeah, so before it was kind of like, you know – Everything I'm doing is to get a contract. Right. And the way I'm working out um, and, you know, going to open runs and the way I'm playing so I can get the right film. Now it's just fine-tuning my, my, my strengths, you know, still working on my weaknesses here and there, but really just fine-tuning my strengths, what I do best, um, and then getting into tip-top shape because I know I'm going to have to quarantine when I get over there for like a week. So, you know, I want to get in as, as much shape as I can so that um, when I am there for a week not doing anything, you know, when I get back on the court, I'm not, you know, 10 weeks behind, essentially, with how my wind is. So now it's just, you know, getting, staying in the gym, getting shots up, working on my handle, you know, going outside, running, lifting weights, um, staying in shape and getting ready to leave. Right. And being careful in the open runs. You, you can't get oh, injured. Yeah. I mean. Right. Uh... Yeah, that's, that's the biggest thing is now is just making sure I don't get hurt because they, they'll, they'll tell me to stay home. Right. If I get hurt, if I leave. And, and I also. Being healthy. I mean, it's, you got to get in there and not have the coronavirus. Right, right, right. Yeah. I've yeah. been, I've been, uh, oh, 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 no, no. you're popular. <laughs> um, oh, shoot, how do I get back to this? I still see you. Can you see me? I can see you. It's not on full screen anymore. But, um, yeah, take your time there. It should be okay. Will just call me. Actually, it, this could be the uh, the the uh, sort of telling us it's time to wrap up. I guess maybe. Yeah, I can answer that phone call later. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You you, you uh, talk, but uh, maybe that's maybe we wrap up. Just I'll give you the final word. Uh, uh, what would you like to say? Um, I just like to you know thank all the people that have supported me throughout my entire career. You know, from when I was young up until now. And I'm not talking about the guys that were just in and out of my life, you know, just dropping in when everything was good. But when stuff was hitting the fan, no one was there, you know what I'm saying? Um, all the people that stayed up with me shooting in the gym, you know, taking me to work after 3 a.m. over in Ceremony and, um, you know, people coming, leaving their time to come rebound for me and all that. And, you know, all the people that were looking out for me, um, trying to help me get it, you know, you know, because I'm not, I'm not that guy that has the big name that can just come in through the front door and everybody, you know, wants to sign me this, this and that. You know, I kind of had to work my way around and get into the back door with a lot of things. So, you know, to all those people that, that, that took their time out to really dedicate their lives and help me and support me and, you know, show love, you know, I want to thank them especially and, you know, and hope that everybody stays safe, you know, and that everybody can still get to their goals, you know, coming into this next year with coronavirus and all that going on. No, Nikel, it's very powerful. I mean, let me, uh, I, I thank you. Let me hit stop and I'll, I'll talk to you for a moment afterwards. This has been wonderful. Yeah. All good. Appreciate it.